You know, uh, hello everyone. Let me uh, let me clear up some uh, some clarity uh, on this video about the lab that's due this Wednesday with everyone with it. If you can please go to uh, log on eCampus and find lab and homework. I put a new revised today with the uh, I moved the date. I'm going to talk about this thing. So if you can please click on lab and homework revised with today's date on there, which is January the 26th, 15 instruction and uh, again I want to give us more clarity to this thing. Once you find that you click on it, this is what you have. So this is what I would like to go over with you. Uh, you have this document with you. So this is due actually Wednesday uh, at midnight. Uh, at midnight, not before class, but I, I share with you that this is due at midnight. So this link where I'm going to show you where to look for this, I'm going to post this link tomorrow you will go to what's called lab and homework submit here submit your lab and homework on your navigation and there will be a link for you to upload your word document on that one okay that's a word document so let me walk you through this 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 exercise here for a few just clarity with this thing all right so here's what we're looking for the first thing is the hello world all right um, if you uh, let me walk you through this thing all you need to do all you need to do in this lab all right is to be able to set up properly give it's a word document that I want you to do so you I want to walk you through this thing when we do this so if you could for me just start up Microsoft Word have a word document ready all right have that ready I also need for you to have the Visual Studio ready as well now I'm running Visual Studio 2010 there's no difference between what you have is 2013 that's 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 one and then you don't need to worry about how to compress and upload to the eCampus. You don't need to do that. That's only for lab two. So don't worry about this right here, right? So the first thing I need for you to do is to, you know, to start this out with it. There's the Hello World program that we would like for you to start out with. So if you once you load this and install this file new project, and we'll walk you through this thing. You're gonna click on Win32, Windows 32 console application. But this thing is my first program, or hello world, however you want to call this, doesn't matter. This is third, the third checkpoint, one, two, and three is the file name. Click on browse, point to where you want to put this thing. I'm, I'm just going to create a silly folder on my, uh, in my, in one of my folder that I have here. On my folder, it's on spring 2000, and this is our class, it's online. I'm just going to create lab one underscore my first initial my full last name with uppercase uppercase in my first letter with it so that where I'm going to point to it you're not going to turn in this project all I want for the first lab is the Microsoft Word document tutorial okay let me repeat the five checkpoints one two the file name is three the path where you're storing this is four and this needs to be disabled is create directory for solution it needs to be unchecked needs to be unchecked. Can you see that? So that's the fifth checkpoint. You click on OK. The next step is please click on application and settings. Please check empty project. That's the next step. Empty project. Okay. The application settings, additional options need to be checked empty project. And you click on finish. Okay. So let me do that one more time with you. Let me do this one more time. Hold on. This time, I like to do it with recording it to part of your lab. Okay. So um, as we record to this thing, so here's what I want to do again. Let me close the solution. Do it again. Let me do this with you, with you again with it. So I have again. We start with. I need for you to open up your Microsoft Word. I need for you to open up your Visual Studio compiler. How, how do you want to show somebody brand new how to compile this thing? So you got to start somewhere on your desktop. So here's what you do: is you click on you, somebody brand new to Visual Studio. You want to show them this is what they need to click on. Okay. So I would take a screenshot of this right here. If you take a screenshot of this thing, you hit what the print screen. Okay. On your computer, on the up upper key, you see where it says P R T C S C R. If you hit that, that will take a snapshot of this whole thing. So in your Word document, let's start this thing out here. 
give this a header for me. This is how I want you to set it up. You know, I want you to insert a header. Give me some sort of header, a blank header in this thing, right? Uh, like so with it. Let's, let's take this thing to the right side here. Okay. Like for you go in and just give me your name, all right? So I want to put your name on here. Make sure your name goes here. All right. Second thing I need for you to do is just give me a course number, 1415 slash 1436. Your section is the online section. If you remember what your online online section is, 83401, 83401, and of course this is my or lab one. Okay, uh, is basically how to set up MS Visual Studio. C++. Okay, that's all you have to do. Also, i like for you to come in and insert in a page number for me, if you could. So find page number, come down page, down the bottom of the page, all right? And if you can please just pick, I'm going to just do page number as one, starting with that. All right, so please give me a quick description of what this lab is about. This lab uh, is about um, setting up how how to set up MS Visual Studio C++. Again, give me a, a complete sentence, proof it, spell check the whole thing for me, okay? This is, you need to have this on spell check with this thing, so uh, before you move on with this. One more thing, if you could for me, in your ribbon, your home ribbon, if you can please click on no space. So no space will not put any spaces in there for me, okay? So step number one. You know, you're going to tell the user to start at the what? What? At the desktop. All right. Control V. Paste it. Just some few kick, few, few, few note here. I want, I want to point out here. Um, some key notes. You need to be aware, aware of what's going on with this thing. <coughs> so, <coughs> C, Control, plus. Alt plus your print screen. All right, this will capture. This will basically will capture uh, the focus window, the the dial any dialog window. Okay, so screenshots, you know, you know, will capture the dialog window. Okay, or the focus window. And in the, if you just do a print screen, this will capture the entire, capture the entire current screen size, current screen size. Okay, just a few, 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 uh, few instructions on that one. Okay, so just give you a heads up with that. So what I did here, as you can see, let me save this. <coughs> 